Welcome! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to connect to your Postgres database so that you can immediately start slicing and dicing your data and visualize it using Explore Analytics. Explore Analytics provides two methods for connecting to a Postgres database. Let's review these methods and see how to use them. The first method of connecting to Postgres is using the Explore Analytics agent. This method is best when your database is in your private network and not directly accessible from the cloud. The Explore Analytics agent is an optional piece of software that you can install on a Windows or Linux computer with connectivity to your database. The agent connects to the Explore Analytics server over a secure web connection and waits for requests for data. When a request is made, it springs into action. It queries Postgres and sends the results to the Explore Analytics server for immediate display in the user's browser. For the purpose of this tutorial, the agent is already installed and running. Let's create a new PostgreSQL data source using the agent. We'll give the data source a name and description. In our example, there is only one agent and it's already selected. Our agent is installed on the Postgres database server, therefore the host name is simply localhost. We'll enter the Postgres username and password. No special privileges are required, and you can use a Postgres account with read-only access to the tables that we want to analyze. Next, we'll enter the Postgres database name. The checkbox at the bottom is for using SSL to connect to Postgres. Check this box if your Postgres server is set up to support SSL. If it is not, then checking this box will cause an error. Explore Analytics connects to the data source and discovers all the tables and their fields. It will also discover references between tables if your database has those defined. Otherwise, we can define those references later. Now we're ready to explore. Here are all the tables. For example, here are the fields of the invoice table. Notice that the customer field is a reference to the customer table. As you'll see in other tutorials, this allows us to seamlessly query across multiple tables. Let's look at the invoice table and create a geographical chart of sales by state and year. Our other option is to connect to a Postgres database directly. Although this is the simplest method, it's only for the case when your database is in the cloud or otherwise accessible from the cloud. Setting up a direct connection is exactly as before, only you don't need to specify an agent. The host name is the name or IP address of your database server and may also include a port number if necessary. That's it for this tutorial. To learn more about how to turn data into intelligence using Explore Analytics, we invite you to watch the other video tutorials and to visit our website at exploreanalytics.com. Thank you.